I am a seafood fan. I travel to all coastal towns to relish seafood. I'll ask for a refill because this tastes really good. Hi, Namaskara. We are in a very old place which is known for Mangalore style seafood. We are at Fishland Majestic, or we are at Fishland Gandhinagar, which is close to Majestic. This place is there for the last several decades, and when it comes to the coastal cuisine or Mangalore cuisine, this is the must visit place in Bangalore. Many people don't know about this, especially people who have moved to Bangalore recently, they may not know about this place. But the taste, quality and hygiene of this place is too good. I am visiting this place for the last two decades, so I know how each and every dish is here. But after Covid, for the last two, three years, I haven't been here. I thought I will visit here and see how things are after Covid. Join me in savouring authentic Mangalore coastal prison. I am a seafood fan. I travel to all coastal towns to relish seafood. In Bangalore, some places like this fishland is where you can savor seafood and this is a place where you get fresh and authentic seafood on any particular day. They get seafood every day from Mangalore so freshness is guaranteed at this place. Let me start with this Neer Dose. Without Neer Dose, Mangalore meal wouldn't be complete. So I am starting with the Neer Dose. Before starting Neer Dose, let me quickly tell you the meal. I have bought a seafood thali. This seafood thali consists of one bowl of red rice or brown rice accompanied by palya or this lady's finger. Then we have some rasam. Then this sol kadi. This is a drink made of kokum. It's very good for health. Then a bowl full of fish curry which is a bangre fish curry or mackerel fish curry. Uh, it's a simple meal. Then a glass of buttermilk. So that's it. And this simple meal is 210. Before getting into rice, I'll start with this Neer Dose. Neer Dose with this Mangalore fish curry, it's a deadly combination. Wow. The Neer Dose is soft when it is dipped in the tangy fish curry, it tastes fantastic. There is a brininess in this fish curry and also the flavor of this mackerel that enhances this fish curry. And this mango fish curry tastes somewhat similar to kotem fish curry but the spices and ingredients of kotem fish curry and this mango fish curry are completely different but I love both equally they are good. Now I am relishing this mango fish curry with Neer Dosa. It's phenomenal. Mm. Sorry, it's not mackerel, it's sardine. Normally they give mackerel but today the fish curry is made with sardine. Mm. Sardine is fresh and also buttery smooth. This sardine gives flavor to the fish curry. When I had the first bite itself, I was wondering whether it's mackerel or sardine. Only from sardine, you get this flavor. The fish as well as the gravy is exceptional. Next, I am going to taste this morvai or clams sukha. Clams also is another seafood I love. It takes time to pick the meat out of the clams and taste it, but it's Worth the effort, you will get a tasty meat from the clam shell. Let me have this clam meat. This is what you will get. Mm. Clam sukha is good. Even in the clams, also, I am getting that freshness and also the mango flavor. Love it. If it's not properly cooked, the clams meat will be chewy, but here it's fresh as well as it's cooked the right way. It is soft and tender. liking it. Let me try this Neer Dose with the most popular chicken gyros. The red Biodagi chilli and the ghee laden chicken is so inviting. I cannot wait to taste it. Mm. 
the ghee roast masala is good, but the chicken is somewhat fried. It is soft and succulent, but the masala has not gone into this chicken. Chicken tastes separately or bland without the masala. Let me taste the masala alone. Tasting good, but I was expecting something similar to what we have in Bangalore, either in Shetties or uh, Machlis, where you'll have a very good chicken ghee roast. But this is okay, but it's not on par with what you get in Bangalore. Now, this boiled rice with fish curry, pour some generous amount of fish curry over this rice, mix it. Wow. More than Nir Dose, with this rice, it's tasting even more good. And I like the flavor of that curry. It's giving that authentic fishy flavor as well as the Mangalorean flavor. When we have with this palya. Mm. Fresh lady's finger goes very well with this fish curry. Having come to this seafood restaurant, if I don't have this fish curry rice with the fish fry, it won't look good. Mackerel rava fry or bangde rava fry. I'll have this bangde fry by itself. This is also very good, very fresh and the rava coating, that's the highlight of this fry. Every time I come to a manual restaurant, I make the point to order this rava fry, be it mackerel or anjal or any other fish. It tastes very well when you coat it with rava and fry it. So I like this mackerel rava fry very much. And also, you see the size of this mackerel, it's a very big mackerel. Though it is big, it's marinated well and it's fried well. So it's fleshy, soft and tender. Let me squeeze some lemon on this. And one more piece of this mackerel meat. See, it comes like a cake. The freshness and tanginess of lemon elevate the already very good tasty mackerel rava fry. And it goes very well with this fish curry. I cannot stop munching on this yummy mackerel with each bite it releases its juice and flavor overall it's a fantastic mackerel fry now it's time for solkadi i think it's kokum and coconut milk mixed together and it's pinkish in color it's some sharp coriander mm. it has some sweetness in it but the flavor of coconut milk and the flavor of kokum combined together, it tastes very good. And it's healthier option as well. I'll ask for a refill because this tastes really good. Those who haven't tasted Sol Kadi, you should try this. Whenever you go to a Govan restaurant or a Marathi restaurant or even a Manglo restaurant, ask for this Sol Kadi. You would love it. We have this Rasam. Mm. It's not a very spicy rasam, but it's a mild rasam similar to what you get in Dashini restaurants with lot of tomatoes in it. Let me have it. Mm. This is a mild tame rasam. You can use this as a palate cleanser before tasting some other seafood. I've got prawn fried. It was ordered in the beginning, but I don't know. The waiter forgot it, so he has got it now. Now I'll have this with the rasam rice. So it is red in color, it is ready red everywhere and it looks similar to the masala used in the chicken ghee roast. Let me have that prawn alone. Mm. Again, this prawn is also too fresh. It's like having some prawn in the coastal town, though it has traveled 400 kilometers or 350, 350 kilometers from Bangalore. But still, it retains its freshness and it's very tender and juicy. Excellent prawn masala. I'll keep on munching this prawn and it's also spicy. But nevertheless, that spiciness doesn't stop you from munching on this fresh prawn. After a satisfying and satiating seafood meal, washing everything down with this buttermilk, Mm. This is also good. It's 
close to the sambaram served in Kerala. It was buttermilk with some spice, but it's so fresh and very invigorating. My seafood cravings for three months ended here at Fishland. I had a very satiating fish or seafood meal at Fishland. I particularly loved the prawn masala as well as the bangra or mackerel rava fry. Too good. With that, I am ending this episode. Thanks for watching. Keep supporting by subscribing. Until I come up with the next one, stay healthy, stay safe. Bye.